This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Johnson Central going for its third straight 15th region softball championship tonight in the way of the Lady Eagles. McGoffin County, the Lady Hornets lost both times they played JC this season, including a week ago in the district championship at their place. The two teams have combined to win the last five region championships. JC with three, McGoffin with two. Lady Hornets, they come out swanging. Kristen Gamble lines one in the center for a hit. Alexis Montgomery come on in. It's one nothing McGoffin. Next batter, it's Leslie Howard. She came up big the other night. She singles to left here. Another run scores for McGoffin, and the Lady Hornets have a 2-0 lead. The score would remain 2-0 until the 6. Bailey Daniel with a solo shot, and the Lady Eagles cut the deficit in half. Now they're down to their final outs in the 7th. Elena Castle grounds the short. Looks like the game's over, but Jazzy Howard throws a little late, and the freshman is safe. Morgan Hobson scores, and we're tied at 2. We would go to extras, and in the ninth, Castle again. Ropes a double in the left. Allie Winland scores easily to give Johnson Central the lead, and that ends up being the game winner. How about the freshman Elena Castle doing the work? The Lady Eagles are going back to Owensboro 3 to 2. The final score, a heartbreaking loss for McGoffin County, but JC gets the three-peat as once again 15th region champs. They, we'd beat them twice this year, and it was close games both times. And, you know, law of averages comes in, and you're worried if this is the time they're going to get you, you know. Um, it would have been real easy for it to snowball on us and us uh, end up losing that game because of the snowball effect. And we've done that this year a few times. We was in Lexington and stuff and played. But they, they held strong. They kept their composure, stayed calm, and they worked through it and got the win. Okay, so there they are. The champs are very excited. That was the, the bus ride back, of course, to Paintsville tonight. All right, moving on to the Kentucky Athletics Hall of Fame ceremonies tonight in Louisville. And this guy behind me, Philip Haywood, is officially in. Haywood sharing a lot of good laughs tonight in Louisville. He's Kentucky's most winningest football coach all time with 403 wins. And the funny thing tonight was when they unveiled his plaque, he saw he had a hat on, which isn't always the case when he's on the Belfry sidelines. Well, I was saying, I, I laughed at first, actually, and I said, hey, I'm in a hat, and rarely do I wear a hat. That was my first thought. Uh, but that was in a championship game, and it was in snow and ice, and it was pouring down the rain in, in between, and so you basically were putting on anything that you could wear, and so that was the one time I think that I'd wear a hat on a real rainy night. Most of the time, my coaches laugh at me and say, you don't wear a hat well. And so uh, th that, that kind of struck me when I said, hey, they got a picture with me in a hat. But other than that, uh, I just felt really honored that I'm, I would be on the wall. All right, from one Hall of Fame to another, officials with the Kentucky High School Basketball Hall of Fame made a trip to the mountains this afternoon. The Hall of Fame is designed to preserve the history and tradition of high school basketball in the bluegrass. Vice Chairman Billy Reed says most of that history is in the sm state's small towns, more specifically right here in eastern Kentucky. I think the schools from the small communities throughout Kentucky are really at the heart of the story and why basketball is so beloved uh, in Kentucky. A lot of these communities were uh, poor communities in some areas. They didn't have a lot to be proud of. So everybody rallied around the high school basketball team. Game one of the NBA Finals tonight, and it's a matchup uh, most NBA fans wanted. Cavs and the Warriors. Stephen Curry and Golden State looking to repeat as the champs. LeBron James and the Cavs looking to win their first championship. First quarter, Golden State up by two. Curry says, hey, Tristan Thompson, right in your eye hole. Get some of that. A little later, how about LeBron spinning and winning? Warriors still up by four. It's 21 to 17. Second quarter. Iggy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your strips, they just hypnotize me. Andre Iguodala strips Kyrie Irving. Clay Thompson finishes on the other end. The Warriors led by nine at the break. And they currently lead this one in the fourth quarter, 104 to 87. So it looks like they'll take game one of the best of seven series. That's sports. We'll be back.